In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to responsibility accounting, going through the questions and then practicing test taking skills with them. First question, in an organizational structure, the person most likely to be evaluated based on controllable costs, A, cashier, B, cost center manager, uh, C, production worker, D, staff accountant, E, all of the above. So let's go through this again. In an organizational structure, the person most likely to be evaluated based on controllable costs, A, a cashier, and let's go through all, B says a cost center manager, and you would think that the manager would be a reasonable choice here. We're thinking they, they would be the ones that would be most uh, accountable for controllable costs. But at the same time, you might think that everybody would be, right, all of the above as well. So. I would think if we think about cashier, cost center manager, this is the one that we typically hold responsible for a center, and then the production worker, they're going to be someone that we, we wouldn't think would be completely responsible for a department at least. And then the staff accountant, again, a staff accountant doesn't seem like it would be for an entire department. So of A through D, I would think that the manager would be most applicable. And then we may think that E, possibly everybody has, has you know, uh, is, is needing to be uh, held responsible for the controllable costs. So that's how I would basically break this down. I would, but the final answer is B. So the cost center manager, that's the one that we're typically going to be making reports for that will have the controllable costs related to that center. So final answer, an organizational structure. In an organizational structure, the person most likely to be evaluated based on controllable costs, B, cost center manager. Next question. Best data to evaluate a manager's cost performance on A, departmental total cost, B, variable costs, C, uncontrollable costs, D, controllable expenses, and E, direct costs. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Best data to evaluate a manager's cost performance on. A, departmental total costs. Now, if they're a department manager, you say, ah, that sounds reasonable. B says variable costs. Now, variable costs, variable and fixed costs are going to be items that aren't really what we're looking at here. We're trying to apply the costs to the department. So that's going to be varying with production level. So I'll say now, and then C says uncontrollable costs. Now, we're probably not going to use uncontrollable costs if it's between C and D, controllable versus uncontrollable. You would think the uncontrollable would be something we don't measure people's performance on if they have no control over it. D says controllable expenses, which I'm assuming is the same as costs. And in that case, we're going to say that the controllable uh, would seem more reasonable. And then E says the direct costs. And again, you might think mm, direct costs seems kind of reasonable. Let's keep that for now. Go through it again. Best data to evaluate a manager's cost performance on A, departmental total costs, D, controllable costs, or E, direct costs. Now, of those, you would think that the total cost sounds reasonable until you see possibly the controllable expenses because the total costs they might have total costs, but they don't they don't have control over it. And we, even if it's part of the department costs, we shouldn't be holding people accountable for what they don't have control over typically. So it's not A between D and E. You might think it's E too because E, ta you know, direct costs tend to be those costs that are controllable oftentimes, but not necessarily the case. We're looking for here the things that are controllable. That's the point because that's what we're going to evaluate based on. We're going to say, hey, you have control over this. This is what we're evaluating you on. Okay, so final answer, best data to evaluate a manager's cost performance on D, controllable expenses, controllable costs.